Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to pass the default arguments with the template classes. So here, just for the demonstration purpose, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, define a template class and for that we need to use a keyword template and then less than and greater than symbol and here you know we need to specify the generic type you know on which the object of this template class are gonna be working so here I'm gonna use the class keyword and then let's say type 1 and um, then I'm gonna add the comma and I'm gonna use class again and it's gonna be type 2 so now you know we have two generic types so what we can do is we can specify the default data types for this generic types we can do that by using the equal to operator so so let's say the first generic type is gonna have a default data type as string and the second one is gonna have a default data type as int now if you won't pass any data type when we're creating an object from this generic class at that time you know this default data types will be used so if it is confusing don't worry you know when we create an object from this class it's gonna be clear all right then after this we need to define the class so it's gonna be class keyword and then the class name let's say my class and then the class definition all right now in this class let's have a couple of private members I'm gonna create a member of type 1 and another member of type 2 so I'm gonna use type 1 and let's say p1 you know you guys can give any name and then type 2 and let's say p2 or property 2 and then we're gonna have the public access specifier so it's gonna be public and then we're gonna define the constructor for this class you know it's gonna take two parameters and it's gonna initialize these two members so the constructor is gonna have the same name as the class so it's gonna be class my class and then it's gonna take two parameters and that two parameters are gonna be of, of type type 1 and type 2 so it's gonna be type 1 and let's say x and type 2 and let's say y and here we're gonna store the values of this x in p1 and y in p2 so it's gonna be p1 equal to x p2 equal to y all right now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna build a method you know which is gonna print out the values stored in these two members so let's call it as what you got and this method is gonna print out the values stored in these members p1 and p2 so i'm gonna use cout and i'm just gonna say i got and i'm gonna insert p1 and again i'm gonna insert some string and i'm gonna refer to this p2 and then i'm gonna end this line all right now we have a generic class definition and the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create objects from this generic class my class all right now in my main function what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the objects from this template class so to create an object first we need to write the class name you know which is my class and then within this less than and greater than symbol we need to specify the values for these generic types you know we have two generic types here and in this case you know we have the default values for these generic types so we can leave this one blank you know when you leave this one blank you know this default values will be taken all right the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna write the object name and let's say ob1 and you know we need to pass the values for this object constructor so here you know this constructor is going to be taking the values type 1 and type 2 and here we haven't passed any data type and that's why you know this type 1 is going to contain the type string and type 2 is going to contain int and that's why we need to pass a string value and an integer value and it's going to be let's say anil and then the integer value let's say 24 and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create another object from this uh, my class so it's gonna be my class 
and then less than and greater than symbol and this case I don't want this first type to be a string I want this to be a floating point that's why I can pass that here float and I want the second one to be int and and we have the default as int and that's why I'm not gonna pass anything here and then the object name let's say ob2 and here now this type 1 contains the data type float you know which we have passed and this type 2 is going to contain int and this constructor is taking two parameters of type type 1 and type 2 and that's why it's going to be a uh, float value and then the integer value so i'm going to pass 22.36 and uh, 55 all right the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create another object so it's going to be my class less than and greater than symbol and we can pass the data types for this both generic types so i'm gonna pass let's say int and i'm gonna pass a string here now now you know this type 1 is gonna contain the data type int and this type 2 is gonna contain the data type string so here we need to write the object name let's say ob3 and we need to pass two parameters you know the first parameter is gonna be uh, type 1 you know which is int and the second parameter is gonna be type 2 you know which is string so I just gonna pass 21 and I'm gonna pass let's say Anjali alright the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna call the what you got meta from these three objects so it's gonna be ob1 dot what you got and I'm gonna copy this and paste it two more times and I'm gonna change this one to ob2 and this one to ob3 alright now I'm gonna save this I'm gonna build and run this alright now you guys can see you know we get I got anil and 24 that's from this ob1 objects but you got meta and you know here we haven't passed any data type for the generic types of this template class and because we have the default values here you know the default values were taken and you know that's why we have passed string and integer value and that's why you know we get i got anil and 24 and here you know for this ob2 we have passed only one parameter you know which will be for this type 1 and this type 2 was containing the default uh, data type you know which was int and that's why you know we have passed a uh, float value and then an integer value and you know we just got that one here and here in this third case you know we have passed both data types for this generic types that's why you know this type 1 was containing integer value and this type 2 was containing a string value and that's why you know we have passed integer and string value and we have got that in the output all right the next thing that I want you guys to teach you is when you assign the default arguments with the template class always start from the right side so here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this one you know the uh, default value for this first type and uh, you know I just need to pass only one type let's say string here and if I build and run this program it's gonna work without any error and now you know let's say if we start from the left side and you know if you won't pass the default value for second one and here you know if we create the object and pass only one type at that time you know the past type will be taken for this type one and we haven't specified any type any data type for this type two and that's why we're gonna get the error you know i just gonna build and run this you know you guys can see we get the error so that's why whenever you use the default arguments with the template classes you know always begin with the right side so this is it guys this is about you know default arguments with the template classes in c++ thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial